Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the painting I'm bringing you today is called Northland Coast. It is a 7x14. Finished this last week. Had the, uh, the underpainting slash drawing done for quite a while though. And uh, lately I've been doing a bit more with the woodsy kind of scenes. Um, but, you know, uh, definitely uh, uh, still have a real fascination for this sort of subject matter. So hopefully you'll enjoy seeing me put this together and also more to come. More to come. Don't know what or when. But, um, yeah. So the thing is about this kind of scene, like, it's a real place. No, no. Sorry, dog decided to chew in this flower pot. Uh, so I can't take quite as many liberties as I might usually, you know. I do take quite a few. And uh, one of the things I wanted to point out to you is like... Excuse me. You might think, oh, well, hey, why do you spend all this time drawing this stuff out, man? When you could just... Uh, I don't know, this looks small enough. You could probably just trace it, project it. Well, I've talked about that on the channel before, so I won't get too deep into it, but I did for a while think that um, projecting uh, the photograph onto the board surface would be a big time saver. Um, and it turned out to be completely the opposite because there's a lot of things you need to change about that photo reference to make a good painting. And uh, that one of the ways I, I learned that was through this, you know, projecting issue. And it, after a while, it, it dawned on me that these paintings weren't very good. And certainly weren't as good as the ones like that they generated like you see me doing now. I'm just, I'm looking at the photo. I'm trying to be somewhat accurate. You know, that's why I have that, that sort of simple grid set up. That just helps me get my bearings. Um, but I leave all kinds of things out. I like to also really... Um, one of the things I think is really crucial is um, we don't even realize when we're shooting like a landscape sort of photo that generally our camera, uh, whether it's phone or otherwise, we're, if we have a wide angle sort of lens, we, we tend to have it cranked all the way wide. Um, but there's certain artifacts, not how we see as human beings, we don't see it that wide focal point. Um, that's why if you've ever had a good quality camera, and I do, um, you can stand in front of a scene and uh, apprehend a certain amount. But if you if you look at that scene through your wide-angle lens, you'll see a lot more than you could just standing there. Very interesting phenomenon. And there's a lot of artifacts that are caused by that. You can really notice it, say, on roads and things when the road looks extremely wide on the bottom. A fisheye lens would be an extreme example of a super wide angle. Um, and so that effect manifests. And uh, things in the distance get way tinier. That's the main thing that I try and address is uh, I try and remember being there as a human. And um, since 90% of my, of my paintings are created from... Hold on, Alfie wants to go out. Go. Wants to play is what he wants to do. He doesn't care, Daddy's trying to work. Anyway, um, so there's that, but there's also like you change things. You got to simplify things, and uh, I won't go into a big detour into the painting I was doing today. It wasn't this painting that we're seeing uh, me do now, but in a sense, all paintings come with uh, the same sort of challenges. big pause, eh? Um, it, whether you're working from working in uh, outdoors, uh, plein air painting, or indoors using a reference on a monitor or printed out, uh, there's an uh, incredible amount of simplification and design that needs to be applied 
when you're going to try and make a good painting from a photo or like I say you might be out in, in front of an actual scene outdoors um, in some senses the outdoor thing can be easier because you have to move very quickly so you're not going to get out your little tiny brush a lot of this stuff you saw by the way we're going to get to a little bit kind of my um, a bit of a stiffly technique and you start to see me do it a little bit there in the background almost a pointless kind of thing I've been experimenting with that and this sort of scene lends itself to it because I took some paints to get the uh, you know everything where I wanted it um, and a bit different than say the kind of uh, woods paintings I'm doing right now which are um, you know very much more like just expressive right anyway I'm not going to get into woods paintings because we're doing this kind of painting but uh, there you go yeah so uh, having that underpainting that design um, established with just one or two values and all the shapes are where they need to be um, in a case like this I know where I'm going to apply myself on a fairly um, you know consistent matter to just working out each part of the uh, painting until I'm done so we did the sky and and the sky in this one I decided to just play it kind of very um, simple you know not super flashy but very typical the kind of skies you might see out here what what's this an ad for my book well surely everybody has a copy right now no you don't have a copy been saving your shekels <laughs> I can't say I blame you but I also think you know what I was thinking about this the other day I could have gone PDF and I didn't want to do that because uh, I'd like to initially uh, or eventually get yeah a publisher um let's see you know either way I've been self-published and uh, but it's not on Amazon or uh or you know um, if, it, if I was selling as a PDF I just you know it, 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 there'll come a time I'm sure that it might be a pirated thing but I don't want it to be just when you know only a few hundred have been sold or whatever anyway order it I'll ship it to you you'll love it I'll sign it for you I'm still numbering them by the way all the ones that ordered that are coming through my store are signed and numbered yeah so get yours today anyway um, so yeah the typical um, Francis fashion we do this guy first and then this painting I decided to do um, all those background sort of hills and uh, out here we call them the heads I don't know what they call them elsewhere but these are like little peninsulas that stick out and uh, I'm real happy with the effect I got there. I mean, it's, it's it doesn't have any scumbling on it, but you can see I painted it with a bit of atmosphere in it. And I tend to do that mostly uh, these days. Like uh, I, I would maybe lean into um, uh, additional uh, you know color passes on my paintings and uh, breaking out the scumbling and breaking out the glazing. And these days I try and just paint it right up where I want it to be. Um, I decided to, you can see I'm using a pretty small brush and if you look at um, oh, some of the, uh, the uh, other paintings on this channel, I've been doing this a long time and you'll see that it goes back to, to, to 2015, 2014, some, some videos back there. Um, bigger brushes, I was always using much bigger brushes. Now I really settled like this, it's probably a zero I'm using. But I got a lot of little colors going on in that uh, hill. And the shape, I thought, was, well, this is such a big, flat, like, anvil-type shape that um, I wanted to add some character to it, you know. So I ended up doing that just with small strokes. And hopefully that, c actually, I can tell you where it comes through. You got the members area uh, hook up there, you know. You get an S in 4K and real time and this painting was oh I don't remember a lot <laughs> it was six hours six hours it took me six hours to do and it'll be in the store and it'll be priced you know uh, accordingly you know 
but um, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's it's a, a painting I'm very happy with, and I was there on the scene, so I was very much inspired by that. And getting back to what we talked about at the beginning, you know, my photo serves as a um, a way of taking a sketch of the scene. Um, I don't have to sit there and draw it out, but I do need to make notes about mental notes about how I see and how it how it how it was to me, you know. And um, of course, there's going to be uh, stylization involved with your painting. I don't care what you're doing. It may be if you're doing photo realism, which you know you're at the wrong place because. I have zero interest in that. I'm interested in expressing myself, expressing how the scene made me feel, getting across the, uh, the, the sort of the beautiful quality or feeling. And in this case, it's uh, definitely a bit more, um, uh, detail isn't quite the right word because I chucked out so much detail, but I took my time and care with each area of the painting, the distance, those rocks uh, in between the where the ocean is in the back and where it's kind of come in the front. These little, I love these little islands and things. And you'll see the water's going to come up a little higher, so there won't actually even be a black line there. Um, speaking of, you know, we're at, uh, yeah, we're getting close to 11 and a half minutes here, so. A lot of people uh, that are just tipping in for the quick tip or tipped out. But, you know, one of the things that I talked about a bit in the members area, um, as I'm doing it, you know, if you're, there's, trust me, I'm not talking for six hours straight. Yeah, you got to have to glean uh, the tidbits here and there, but um, they're there. And you get to see, I think what's really important is just see how the whole thing comes together. I don't even know how it's going to come together. And I've done a lot of painting, um, but just today I had to get in there and I was watching how I approached a similar subject to what I was painting a day in the past. And it was awesome, actually. I was like, okay, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Although I'm going to bring in what I'm doing, how I'm doing it now a little bit more. Yeah, things like that. Anyway, what I want to pass on to you now is like, you notice that I took my time. This is sped up, so you see this in the members area, but I kind of go around all of these hill shapes in the middle distance that really are acting as the subject with a thin black line that usually, like you see the grass, it subsumes it, but it's a certain feel, a certain set of like almost a uh, a closed off feeling. I, I still get these airy edges where I need them um, and I can break that line but I find that that's extremely helpful. I'm just passing that along and of course it's it is subsumed although not usually in my forest scenes I'll put I'll put a line around the tree that's I just see it as a stylistic thing. Um, also we're almost at the end here you know we added uh, my water uh, mixture again if you're in the members area you'd know it but uh, a little bit of yellow ochre, a little Prussian blue, and some white. And there we are. We have a nice um, aqua color that's good for oceans. Normally, I'll bring in a little black, say for the bottom bits. Where it, and a lot of times with a little blue, too. Now, the video slows down a little here. Not by much, it's still sped up like seven times, but the whole video was sped up by about. I don't know, 28 times, I think, something like that, something significant. I did come in at the end, you see, and that dark uh, wa uh, sand, where the, it's gray, where the water has come, it's actually g going back, it looks like now. Um, I went in and I scumbled that a little lighter gray after looking at it, so uh, that was the next day, so I did load it up on the easel, but I didn't really go after any other part of it. There might be a dot or something here or there. Um, also, it did give me a chance to do a little interesting little dry brush of white around those waves, which I really like that effect. It was a misty effect. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking the time. And until I come back with another video for your edification, education, and enjoyment, hopefully, 
God willing. Uh, take good care of yourself, your family, all your loved ones. Stay out of trouble, and God bless you and your family.